What are the fastest countries in the world that will grant you citizenship by investment? If you're open to investing from $100,000 all the way to $5 million, all these countries will grant you legal citizenship and a passport. We're gonna go through them from the fastest to the slowest and the main perk of each program. The first country, Vanuatu, in the Pacific, they grant you citizenship for a donation of $130,000 in one to three months. This program has been heavily scrutinized because you can change your name and your whole identity, whatever reason you have to change your identity, you can, and they will grant you a passport faster than pretty much any other country, but it's heavily scrutinized. They've lost a lot of access to Europe and the UK, for example, and they will continue to be scrutinized in the future unless they fix their due diligence problems because right now Vanuatu does not have a strict due diligence diligence process. Beautiful country, but would be careful with their citizenship. To a more legitimate option, we have Turkey. Three to four months, you can get granted citizenship by investment in real estate for 400,000 US dollars. Now, this might go up in the future to 600,000 to 800,000. The program started at a million dollars when they first launched it. They went down to 250, they went up to 400, and now they were thinking of going up to 600,000. So you can invest into pretty much any real estate you want all over the country. A lot of people choose Istanbul or Antalya, beautiful beach towns that Turkey has, and it's a relatively good passport. A lot of people use it just to get a second passport or to change their name. You can change your name to a Turkish version of your name just to have another option, just to have another country that you can call home. The third option, since we're going from fastest to slowest, is Jordan. This might be a funny one. A lot of people might make fun of Jordan for putting this program out there, but this is for a very specific type of nationalities or if you're doing business in Jordan or in the region. If you're, for example, from Syria and you need a slightly better passport, then Jordan could work. You can deposit a million dollars into a Jordanian bank for three years or more and then be granted Jordanian citizenship. And the timeline for Jordanian citizenship is three to six months. For pretty much any Westerner, this password doesn't make that much sense unless you specifically want to do business in Jordan. The next country is Cambodia in Southeast Asia, an investment of 305,000 US dollars into government approved real estate or $245,000 as a donation grants you citizenship in around three to five months. I personally know people that have been granted Cambodian citizenship because they want to buy land in Cambodia. Only citizens can buy land. It's a country that is developing rapidly. A lot of Chinese money entering Cambodia. And if you want to take advantage of this movement of Chinese money and you just want to invest in Cambodia and buy land, then Cambodian citizenship could be a good option. It also gives you pretty good access in Asia. The next country, one that does have a fast citizenship program, but there's been no approvals or there's been no said approvals, no published approvals, is El Salvador. El Salvador, made famous by Nayib Bukele, being one of the most dangerous countries in the world, now one of the most safest and the safest in the Western Hemisphere, launch a citizenship by investment program for 1 million USDT or Bitcoin, 1 million US dollars converted into Bitcoin. They grant you citizenship in around six weeks, but the six weeks have already passed. And so far, when I'm filming this video, there has been no published approvals. Maybe people have been approved. So I'm going to leave it as a question mark because I really don't know how long it takes to be approved, if people are even getting approved, but they do have that program available. And obviously you have a country that has accepted Bitcoin as an official currency, a country that is safe, a country that is absolutely beautiful. Now we have the beautiful Caribbean islands. These programs are all pretty similar. I chose one of them because it was the oldest running program, but you can choose any of these and you're pretty much getting the same visa free travel, the same perks. You can live in any of these countries with any of these citizenships. They have their own EU style block that you can use to live in one of the other Caribbean islands. The fastest one in this very moment is Antigua and Barbuda. It's taken around five to six months, a donation of $100,000 plus $30,000. So it's really $130,000 and you can get a relatively great pass passport that just got visa free access to China if you're interested in going to China. After that, we have St. Lucia for $100,000, so slightly cheaper than Antigua and Barbuda. You have less countries visa free, but you have also a cheaper option and a country that is not that well known. Most people don't know about St. Lucia. You can arrive in Europe, you can arrive in Asia with a St. Lucian passport. People will think that this country doesn't exist or they never heard about it before. You could even arrive in South America. People don't know that this country exists. So you have a country that is 
off the radar. Nobody really knows about it. Nobody really knows that it has a citizenship by investment program, although it's a small island and you can live in St. Lucia, which is a very beautiful island. The next one, and we're going based off time here, current processing time for each application is Grenada, six months on average, as well as St. Lucia, six months on average. This is 150,000 donation. It used to be very popular for Russians. Now Russians are not allowed anymore. So they're pretty much competing on price and visa-free travel at this point. Grenada has visa-free access to China. So they're now competing with Antigua. They probably will lower the price at some point just because it's not that competitive anymore. And without the Russians, they're not getting that many applications. Grenadian real estate is really popular for their citizenship programs. So if you're interested in getting real estate in the Caribbean that is also slightly outside of the hurricane belt, then Grenada could be a great option. And for the last two options, I picked one of these, but they are taking longer than all the other ones due to high demand. And those are Dominica, eight to 10 months on average, $100,000 donation. They recently lost access to the UK. If Caribbean countries lose access to Schengen, I think Dominica is going to be the one that's going to lose it first. It's going to be that country that is always under the spotlight, always articles out. Oh, Dominica selling their passport to terrorists, to money launderers, and it's always in the spotlight. Everybody knows that Dominica has a citizenship program. It is known as that country, so I would be cautious. It is cheaper than all the other options, same as St. Lucia. And the last one, which I chose when it was a lower price point, is St. Kitts and Nevis. Currently, 250,000 US dollars. I got it when it was 150,000 dollars. Other people got it when it was 125,000 dollars. And there's been a lot of people that have St. Kitts citizenship just because it's the platinum brand. It's taking a very long time because when they lowered the price to 125,000, many people applied. It created a backlog and now they're working through that backlog and it might take even a year to get granted this program. It is the longest running program out of all the programs in the Caribbean. So that does create some stability, but they're pretty much in line with other Caribbean countries when you compare their passports, where you can live. So you have to analyze it based on what you're personally looking for. Now for the next country, nine to 12 months or more on average is Egypt. This might be a funny one because there's a lot of Egyptians that want to get out of Egypt. that want to have another citizenship somewhere else. But if you're specifically looking at the North African region, if you're specifically looking at Egypt, you can get it by real estate. You can invest 300,000 US dollars in the real estate market in Egypt, specifically in Cairo. A lot of people investing into Cairo or investing in Wurhada or Sharm el Sheikh. Although when I went to Sharm el Sheikh, I absolutely hated it. I do not recommend it to most people. Cairo is where you want to go if you want to experience history, if you want to experience Egypt. Forget about the beach towns in my experience. If you do want to become Egyptian, if you do have interest in the region, you have that option. And the last two options, the most expensive options, moving over to Europe, we have Malta, the beautiful islands of Malta. You can invest 1 million all the way to 1.2, 1.5 million dollars, depending on the investment type and the way that you do the application because it is a donation plus an investment into real estate or a rental of a real estate. Then you have some contributions, then you have some government fees. So overall, it adds up to around $1.1 million. But you have over 190 countries you can visit visa-free. You can live anywhere in the European Union. You can also travel to the US visa-free. It is a very well-respected passport. It is a low-tax country. So they have all of those things going ahead for them. The program might be closed in the future because the EU is really trying to close all these loopholes, trying to close all these programs for golden visas, for passports by investment. They're trying to close all of them. So Malta might be next, just like Cyprus. They did have citizenship by investment. They now don't. Malta could be the next closed program. And the last country that will cost you around three to $5 million or more through their citizenship by exception program, and that is Austria. If you want to be in Europe, but you don't want to be in a small island and you want to be a citizen of a very developed country, German and English speaking country. Most people in Austria speak good German, at least in the big cities. Vienna is a beautiful city, although the country itself is woke is heading in the direction of the West, is going to tax you a lot if you live in Austria, you do have the option to become an Austrian citizen. It's going to take you years, two to three years or more. This is not a fast program. This is not a program they promote. 
but it is an official program that you can go through if you really have interest in that specific region. As you can see, there's countries for all kinds of budgets. If you want to find out more countries that offer citizenship through different programs, you can join our private community. Just go to school.com slash wealthy expat. It's in the description. You can join our private community where we talk about 50 plus countries that offer some sort of citizenship program where you can get residency, permanent residency, and then citizenship. We talk about them in the private community. And if you want to see the secret way that multimillionaires and billionaires get citizenship in whatever country they want that is not citizenship by investment it's not citizenship by descent it is a different kind of program check it out right here the secret way that people get citizenship in the uae in slovakia in argentina in whatever country they choose check it out right here